Senator, hey, congratulations for being here on the red carpet for Health for Peace. How does it feel for you tonight? I'm humbled. I'm surprised by the uh, recognition, but I appreciate it. And uh, it's much work still to be done in this space, but uh, I really I congratulate all the other folks who are being recognized tonight. That's why we're here, because it's a team effort. So what does the award for leadership mean to you? Uh, I can't wrap my head around it. I just do my job every day. So I show up. So I'm honored that and humbled that someone would recognize me for the work that I do. But it's really my community, the people, and the need that drives me to do what I do. So uh, I don't do this for recognition. I don't do it for honor. But I would be lying if, it didn't, if I didn't say it felt good to be recognized and honored this way. So I'm humbled by the recognition. Now, of course, this organization is all about, you know, healthcare, whether it's backyard or anywhere around the world. Tell, tell us about how that is a paramount issue for us today. It's critical. I mean, health care is probably one of the number one issues outside of being housed. Health care is a major issue, especially with people of color. When we look at the disparities that exist and the levels of infant mortality and morbidity for African-American women and other people of color, it's one thing to have insurance, but it's another thing to have access to insure, uh, the health care that you need. And many of our communities are lacking in that and lacking with doctors that have cultural competency to deal with the diverse communities which now exist not only in Los Angeles but throughout the state and throughout the nation. So uh, this organization is critical in making sure we bridge that gap. Most excellent. Before I let you go, obviously, you know, how politics is one thing, the world is changing is another thing. Uh, what is your what is your top call to action today? Inclusion, diversity, you know, justice, equity. I mean, here we are in 2023 and we see that we still haven't reached the American dream of, you know, justice and uh, equity and, you know, for all, and justice for all. We, we don't have it. So we, we, we need to continue striving to be the beacon of hope and be the life that we espouse to be to the rest of the world. You are very well spoken. That's why you earned the Leadership Award. Thank you very much, Senator Bradford. You're too kind. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.